Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about some of the etiquette or habits that I've learned here in America that I wish I would have learned in China or at school. But bear in mind there's a difference between knowing these rules and actually applying these rules in everyday life and there's always a gap. You know, you need to spend time, you need to feel comfortable doing these. And I'm in no way, shape or form forcing you guys to be a certain way and I'm sure if you know the person you're talking to understands that you're from a different country then he or she might not be able to care or mind that you're not doing their um, etiquette. So the first one is saying how are you instead of hi. Like a lot of people, we learned this phrase in our English textbooks, how are you, but we never gave much thought to it. Uh, when I came to America, I quickly realized that people use how are you and how are you doing in various forms of that phrase to say hi. And it's not really a question either, you just kind of expect the other person to answer oh i'm good i'm fine you know it's not like you're literally trying to ask i mean it depends sometimes your friends really do want to ask like how you've been doing but usually when you go into a shop and the staff asks you hey how are you doing or whatever it's not usually a question and you shouldn't be giving them a detailed account of how your day was so that's the first one and i think in the very beginning i understood that but i never cared too much um and therefore i think i missed out on a lot of opportunities to actually greet the other person properly i would just use hi in retrospect it kind of doesn't seem respectful enough especially coming from my sales background i now know that you have to ask the other person how are you or how are you doing even if you're just in a grocery store number two and this one is particularly tricky because no textbooks ever mention this and that is introduce your friends so whenever you're with a group of people and there's new people coming in you have to introduce these existing people that you know to these new people so you can't ignore um either group that to me was not obvious i never really i mean in china we don't really do that we just kind of assume that you know once we get talking we'll get to know each other so yeah we uh, never say oh this is blah 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 have you met blah 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 but you know in america or presumably any other western countries it's kind of mandated that you say oh this is my friend have you met my friend and then they will say oh nice to meet you i kind of learned this the hard way my ex-boyfriend was like hey you didn't introduce me like what was your problem i was like no we, we just don't do that i mean because i don't want to seem intrusive i don't want to like interrupt our conversation with whoever i'm talking to and then be like hey have you met this and i don't want to you know force it on them to start a conversation if they don't feel like doing that in my mind i was being polite but apparently in america you have to address your friends and number three is you have to address people or at least ask people's name if you're like in a somewhat serious relationship or conversation or whenever you go to a party or just talking to a random person on the street if that conversation has been going pretty good people will offer their name especially if they tell you their name first then you have to say oh my name is blah 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 uh, to reciprocate that favor to reciprocate that kindness it's also a way to wrap up a conversation so if you have been talking to a random person on the street you can actually graciously exit yourself out of that conversation by saying hey um by the way my name is blah 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 it's nice meeting you it's nice talking to you but i gotta go do this thing and maybe i'll stay in touch or have a good day or something like that so you know asking a person's name is kind of saying okay i appreciate this conversation i'm offering my name and you're kind of like my friend now but i gotta go and number four this one is kind of a no-brainer but i think in textbooks or in english classes we don't actually emphasize this and that is saying nice to meet you when you meet the person so whenever you say uh, i'm blah 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 or my name is blah 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 you have to offer oh nice to meet you uh or you have to say nice to meet you too when the other person said that to you and i think there is one thing that people might have missed and that is saying nice meeting you or it was nice meeting you 
after you conclude that conversation or after you conclude that encounter. It's also, you know, a euphemism for saying bye bye or goodbye. So whenever you say, oh, it was nice meeting you, people know you gotta go do your thing and leave. So yeah. Um, nice to meet you, nice meeting you. It tells people that you're confident but you also care about um, this new person in your life. And finally, number five or six, and that is a firm handshake. This one is especially important in business situations. I mean, people will forgive you if you're young, if you're from another country, but if you have a limp handshake, it kind of tells people that you don't really appreciate them or that you're not confident. I haven't always done that. It always made me feel weird to have a physical contact but you know americans are very what's the word i'm looking for friendly like they will hug you especially if you haven't seen this person for a long time they would um, hold your hand they would shake your hand to express kindness maybe it's just me but i think it's kind of mandated that you shake hands firmly if you really care about this person. If you don't care about this person, then I would say just don't, just don't offer your hand. So yeah, that's the five things that I learned in America. Uh, with these five days, they'll be, you'll be okay. Um, you'll make some friends, hopefully. You won't be confused if people say these things or do these things to you. Yeah, I hope this helps. Um, a lot of people, a lot of my students have been asking me these kind of questions since we're kind of going over the basics of our conversation, of English conversations. So I just thought I would do this short little video to kind of inform the public a little bit. So if you like today's video or if you think that this video is helpful for somebody, please share it, like it. I would really appreciate it. And as always, if you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments section down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye!